Whose side are you on? Side I'm always on. Mine. By the early 90s, Hollywood had also come around to Madonna's side. I was beginning to wonder what a girl had to do to get arrested. First, she played the beautiful villainous Breathless Mahoney in 1990's Dick Tracy. I know how you feel. You don't know if you want to hit me or kiss me. I get a lot of that. Then she hit a home run in the comedy A League of Their Own. Okay, let me see what happens, uh, Rosie Madonna. So here was this dancer girl who was, you know, didn't know which end of the bat to hold. and. Uh, but she really did learn, and you could teach her through dance moves, in fact. You could teach her, like, you know, step, step, twist to hit the ball. And... <laughs> Rosie is a great baseball player, and I just, I, I am so glad she's here, because she <laughs> coaches me on everything. Now I'll show you how. <laughs> <laughs> but when it came to off-the-field matters, it was Madonna who did the coaching. For Rosie, who also lost her mother as a child, Madonna was a kindred spirit, and the two formed a friendship that has only gotten stronger over time. The best part for me about doing that movie and get, was getting to know her. I feel understood by her, I think, in a way that I don't feel understood by many people who haven't lived through uh, the same experiences I did as my, in my childhood. This used to be my playground. This used to be my childhood. Madonna's close circle of friends echo that comment over and over. When they're in need of understanding, the person they turn to is Madonna. The most loyal friend I have, I'll never forget after the tragic death of my brother. I was traveling from Italy to Miami, and the first person I got on the phone when I landed in Miami was Madonna, and she she told me in the middle of the night, anything you need, you know, I'm here for you. That was very important to me. Wishing you were here with me. I think Madonna is one of the most loyal people and extremely loyal to her friends. And uh, she's giving and caring, and I don't think people see that side of her. I don't think she necessarily wants people to see that side of her. But by 1994, after the aggression and anger of the sex book period, Revealing that softer side was the first step in Madonna's next big transformation. From dark mistress to a ray of light. I think that Madonna today, her public persona, is more like she was in private with me for a long time. It makes me very sort of... Uh, happy to see that she is secure enough to allow her vulnerability and her calmness, her beauty to come through without all that distraction that she had before. Until you, you know, end something or, or you know, close the book on something, you can't really move on and grow. Rain. 